Hello and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I know you saw by the thumbnail that today I will be turning myself into bat glam. It was very interesting, reasonably easy, so if you don't have any ideas for Halloween, maybe it's time to be a vampire queen, a, a bat queen, rather than a bunny this year. Nothing wrong with a bunny, but you know, let's mix it up a little bit. If you would like to find out how I achieved this look, then just keep on watching. My spot turned into a cold saw. Can you vacate the premises, please? Alright, I'm not going to let the cold saw ruin my day, ruin my mood, ruin Halloween for me. I am super excited to be creating this look right here. This was created by Nika. She's an amazing face chat artist. She's very talented outside the box and I really, really like this look in particular. As always, I will start with my brows and my eyes and then do my base. I highly recommend doing this. There's a lot of dark shadow. I will be putting some glitter on. If we have fall down, it's going to be very, very difficult to get that off. I'm going to start off by putting some soap into my brows. And as always, I'm going to fill my brows in with the Eyelore Pomade in Blonde. In this look, having that arch is an advantage. So if you don't have one, fake one. Fake it till you make it. I look so angry. I'm going to dip into the palette that I'm going to be using for the eyes and it's going to be the Revolution Alexis Stone Instinct Palette. I want to dip into the darkest grey, the third grey down and I'm taking it on my angled brush. I want to just ever so slightly intensify the outer portion of my brow. It also adds dimension to the look. All right, time to carve out the brow and prime the lids. I'm using Collection Last Imperfection Concealer in Extra Fair. Firstly, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and dip my brush into the first grey shade and I'm going to mix it with that pukey brown at the bottom here. So the grey and this one. And I'm putting this in my crease from the inner corner to the outer corner, just stamping it out first. And now I'm going to take that fluffy brush and fluff this up, blend this in. And I'm actually going to follow Nikki Tutorials' technique of blending eyeshadow into the brow. This palette is so heavy. Nope, I'm not holding it. I'm going to take a big pencil brush and the darkest grey and I'm going to stamp this on my actual lid on the outer corner up to the crease and my inner corner as well. I'm going to go back to that fluffy brush and blend that grey in. Blending it up just above the crease I haven't put anything in the center. And now I'm going to take a small pencil brush and the black in the palette. I'm going to tap my brush off and I'm just going to stamp it on my upper lash line in the outer third and the inner third. And you've guessed it, I'm also blending it in. Okay, time for the glitter. I'm taking Revolution Glitter Glue and I'm putting it on the centre of my lid with my finger. And then I'm going to layer Revolution Loose Glitter in Interrupted with my finger as well. I do want to blend this glitter in a little bit and I'm going to take that darkest grey and just blend in the edges. You don't want to buff, you just want to tap. So far so good. Let me do the other eye off camera and I will be right back. All right, I'm done with the eyes for now. I'm going to briefly move on to my base and I wanna not test out. I'm still in the process of trying out the Fasali Skin Tune Blur. I've tried this in my previous video and 
I promised that I will test it out further it didn't block my pores so far so I'm trying it again I'll probably you know try it a couple more times and then I will let you know whether maybe this might be the primer for me I really don't like the smell not that I really don't like it it's just it's not pleasant it straight up smells like glue but it does mattify the skin nicely because this is like a vampire-y kind of character, I'm going to use a foundation that's slightly too light for me in tone. This will kind of give us the full effect. I love this one. L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And I have the shade 25 Rose Ivory. Vampires, bats sleep upside down so their under eye circles are non-existent all that blood flow to their skull keeps them nice and hydrated so i'm going to get rid of mine with the collection last imperfection concealer and keeping up with this pale theme i'm using the extra fair shade zero to powder my face i'm going to use fenty beauty pro filter setting powder in butter time to sculpt i'm going to be using revolution pro hd palette and i'm going to contour with this shade right here i'm going to start off with that one and surprisingly i'm going to take it right here so i'm taking it down more so you want to go from your ear aim towards your nose stop about halfway and then just go down And for my forehead, I'm not going all the way. I'm just doing my temples. But this is Halloween. We need to be extra. I'm going to mix the first two grey tones and a little bit of that brown. And I'm going to deepen my contour by adding those greys in there. I'm also taking that grey and brown concoction to put underneath my chin. I'm also taking that fluffy brush I used for my eyes and I'm taking that brown and grey concoction to put underneath my nose and like I'm going to begin my contour but I'm not actually contouring my nose. Actually, let's do it. I feel odd without contour. The final touch for the base is the freckles in the middle and for that I'm going to use a Jeffree Star Posh Spice Liquid Lipstick. You don't need many, just a couple. Time to finish off the eyes and complete this look. I'm going to take that small pencil brush and dip it into the darkest grey in the Alexis Revolution palette and I'm putting this all over my bottom lash line. And after doing that, I'm taking that fluffy brush and the lightest grey to blend this out. Alright, now the most important part, the liner work. This will probably take the longest, but it's definitely worth doing. I'm taking the Vibo Katoso Triton Liquid Liner and I'm lining my top lash line. I'm also going to give myself a cat eye, so I'm taking that inner corner out. From there, you want to go up, really go out, go straight back in. And once you're back in, as if there's a magic line from the outer corner of your eye going up, from there, you want to go in just above the crease this liner is fantastic it has no problem whatsoever to go above the glitter and from there you want to give yourself your bat wings i also need to do this on my lower lash line as well so you want to make upside down triangles every so often on your lower lash line as well. <laughs> I 
I'm done now it's time to catch up with the other eye so I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and then I will be right back to finish off the look all right almost there I put my mascara on L'Oreal Lash Paradise and today's lashes are Smink Up Yell Freak and I decided to bake under my contour just to make it even more the final step is to do the lips I personally don't have a black lipstick if you do go ahead throw that on you could draw in some fangs I don't think I'm gonna do that I'm just going to do the lips because I don't have a black lipstick I'm going to use face paint I guess lipstick would probably be better Jeffree Star can we restock weirdo on Beauty Bay please thank you okay never mind the fangs will complete the look let me just quickly grab a white face paint and draw them on all right here it is this is my vampire bat glam for halloween i think the fangs are a must it makes the look thank you nika for inspiring me creating that face chat it's an amazing face chat i highly recommend everyone to try this out i really like this look this liner it's so good it glides on over eyeshadow and glitter not many liners can do that this one was just spot on as you can see there's no skipping it's nice and matte very pigmented highly highly recommend it this is probably even better than the palette itself the whole collection is amazing but this has impressed me so much today i absolutely love it okay i hope you have enjoyed this look i hope you enjoy halloween i will probably have a couple more halloween looks before it is halloween unfortunately i'm unable to do halloween this year but I hope you have enjoyed that if you did make sure to like comment subscribe i hope to see you next time thank you so much for watching you are the best